Hi, this is Suzette Allen again with Photoshop in a Minute. Today we're going to learn how to set up our desktop for efficiency. And we are going to take this setup in CS6, which is the essentials, and we're going to redesign it and set it up like this, which is far more efficient. So let me show you how to do that. First of all, I want to make sure that you understand about the panels being docked. What a lot of people do is they'll drag their panels over and see how they're little floating panels now. Now I can size them longer, but if I change the uh, dot, top panel, look how it pushes my speed buttons right off the edge of the screen. Not only that, my pictures will go right underneath it. You should always work with your panels docked. And if you want to just take this upper blue bar, or gray bar in this case, drag it over where my mouse goes right to the edge of the window. See that where that blue pops up? If I drop it there, now it's docked. Isn't that nice and neat? It goes top to bottom, and I can size my two panels just like a little window shade. It doesn't push the information off my screen. The first thing you should do, though, before you start this is go to this little flyout in the corner, go to the word Essentials, and it's probably all messed up if you've moved things around. So go back to the flyout and say Reset Essentials. That will put it in the default setup, and then we can go forward from here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take away the panels that we never use, like color. I do like swatches, and so I'm going to drag them to dock them right here. See that little blue line? It drops it in the little mini dock. My adjustments and styles go there as well. Now, I like layers, channels, paths, but I also want to have my history and actions. So let's go to window, actions. History and actions are both there. So what I want to do is drag history up here. Now, if I drop it there, see how the blue goes all the way around? It'll dock it with it. I want to move it up just a little bit so there's just a blue line and it will make a new panel. So there we have my history and actions together and layers, channels, and paths. I like it about half the height. I want to pull a few more out here that I use a lot, like character and paragraph. There they are. As soon as you call for them, they show up. Now, don't forget to save this when you're done. Go to the fly out here and go to new workspace and name it with your name. Thanks again. This is Photoshop in a Minute.